God makes it very clear who are what is his treasured position God shows from the Bible what is most important to him don't be surprised which is you and me my brother my sister my friend we are God's treasured position that is what the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 32 God says like this God that spared not his own son God that spared not his own son who's that Jesus Christ but delivered him up for us all God delivered Jesus for us all upon the cross of Calvary how shall he not with him also freely give all things you see God is asking us he is questioning us if I can give my own son to be killed or to be punished in your place won't I give other things as well you see God is a father he is asking us won't I give you the other things as well that's what we read from the Bible in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 32 God makes it very clear if I can give my very son to be punished on your behalf won't I give other things as well my brother my sister my friend it is our ignorance which makes us to cry to become dull and down thinking that God doesn't love you or God doesn't love us it's our sheer ignorance nothing else when you know what the Bible says you too will be thrilled you too will be excited you too will be in high spirits you see God said God is asking us if I can give my very son Jesus to be punished on the cross of Calvary won't I give you other things as well you know the Bible says in, in the book of Psalms chapter 24 verse 1 earth and all its belonging belong to God you see God owns everything God owns everything gold and silver is God's that's what we read in the book of Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 everything belongs to God and God is asking us won't I give you those things and now you might be asking if that is the case why such a lot of pain why such a lot of problems why such a lot of trials or why such a lot of tears you might be asking my brother my sister my friend upon earth there will be tears there will be pain there will be sorrow and eventually there will be physical death these things are for the world for earth in heaven there will be tears there won't be pain there won't be sorrows there won't be death at all we will be living with God forever and ever and ever that's what we read in the book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 my brother my sister my friend this temporary life on earth believing God obeying God living a holy life is the only praise you and I pay to inherit the kingdom of heaven you got it this is the only praise to live a holy life is not very easy it is not easy it takes self-control it takes commitment it takes such a lot of sacrifices but eventually it is worth it
You got it? My brother, my sister, my friend. Know for sure the heart of God is you. God loves us like anything. He loves you. He loves me. He loves us. Love, loves every one of us. God is in love with us. That is the reason in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, we read like this. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. Whosoever believes is an open call, my brother, my sister, my friend. It's our choice. God will never ever force anybody. It's our choice. If you choose to believe him, you too can follow Jesus. See, when you follow Jesus, what happens? The moment you get saved, you become God's family. The moment you begin to obey, believe the Bible, you begin to fear God. When you fear God, what happens? He employs his angels to guard you. That's what we read in the book of Psalm 34, verse 7. The moment you get baptism in the name of Jesus, you become his family. Then is when we receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will guard us from within and the angels will guard us from outside. What a wonderful God. What a wonderful Father we have. My brother, my sister, wake up. God loves you. God's heart is you. God's treasured possession is you. It is us. As long as we choose to believe Him. Believing God, obeying God in this temporary life upon the earth is the only price you and I pay to inherit the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. My brother, my sister, my friend, you know what God calls us? In the book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 9, God tells us what is our status the moment we choose to follow Jesus as our Lord and Savior. The Bible says like this in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you, all of you, are a chosen generation. You see, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an only nation, an exclusive people. That all of you should show forth the praises of him, praises of God, who has called you out of darkness. He has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. You see, four things he talks about. Sir. Talked about, talks about us. One is we are a chosen generation to him. And he says we are a royal priesthood to him. And we are a holy nation to him. And we are an exclusive people to God. My brother, my sister, my friend, know how much God loves you. How much God loves mankind. The only thing which God expects us from us is to believe him, to obey him, to believe the Bible, to obey the Bible, to suffer for the short while in order to live a holy life, a self-controlled life, a committed life. To live a good life. That's what he says. To love others. To respect others. To care for others. And to live for Jesus. This is what he expects from us. In return, what we are going to get? A life without tears. Without pain. Without sorrows. Without death at all. In heaven. Forever and ever and ever. With God himself. Once we close our eyes upon this earth physically. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Always remember, you are God's treasured possession and you are his heart. 
and the heart of god is craving for you always remember that until we meet again may god continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah